Good evening, candidates. Uh, today, I arranged for this session because I can't take in the night. Nobody has come, so I am reading out some important points. Please, uh, wa please watch the video. The Election Commission yesterday uploaded the data received in digitized form from the registry of the Supreme Court on electoral bonds on its website. The National Investigation Agency has attached four immobile properties of 11 accused as proceeds of terrorism in the ISIS module case in Maharashtra's Pune. The NIA said that these properties are being used for improvised explosive devices fabrication and its training and planning terrorist acts. The attached properties in Gondwa, Pune, are linked with 11 accused persons, including three absconders. Number three, the Chhattisgarh Economic Offences Wing has lodged an FIR naming 19 individuals, including former Chief Minister Bhupesh Bagal, unnamed bureaucrats and police officers and others in connection with the Mahadev book online betting scam. Number four, Enforcement Directorate has summoned Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the money laundering case linked to alleged irregularities in the Delhi Jal Board. CBI has arrested brother of Sheikh Shah Jagan and two others after a marathon nine hours interrogation in Nizam Palace office in Kolkata. Sheikh Alamgir, the brother of Shah Jagan and others were arrested on charges of attack on ED team on 5th January in Sandesh Kali. Yeah, number 6. A yeah, Delhi court on Saturday remanded Bharat Rashtra Samiti leader K. Kavita to the Enforcement Directorate custody till 23rd March in connection with the Delhi liquor policy case. Number 7. Controversial YouTuber Yelvish Yadav was arrested on Sunday by the Noida police in connection with a probe into the suspected use of snake venom as a recreational drug at a party in Noida four months ago. Finance Minister Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman, Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal, RBI Governor Shakti Kantadas, President of World Bank Ajay Banga, IMF MD Kristalina Georgieva, US dollar roughly 83, pound sterling roughly 106, euro 91. Japanese yen, I think it is not given properly. Then GDP. Purchasing power parity, dollar thirteen point one one nine trillion, GDP nominal three point seven three trillion. Then nominal means total market value of all goods and services produced in a country's economy. GDP growth eight point four percent quarter three. India is the fifth largest economy in the world. Inflation rate, it was 5.69 in December 2023. In February 24, it was 5.09%. Population is 143. 0.86 crore and this is 17.7% 7 
of the total world population. Unemployment rate as on October is 10%. Per capita, this income is also known as average income as it is calculated by dividing the total income of the country by the total population of the country. GDP per capita is dollar two thousand eight forty five nominal two thousand twenty four two thousand eight forty five dollars into eighty three you can put it Bombay Stock Exchange Sensex it is given as seventy two thousand six forty three let me check what is the rate now BSC Sensex now BSC Sensex now Right now, it is 72,748. 72,748. So before going for the interview, you should check these rates. Rates in financial capital market, gold, rupees 66,300 for 10 grams of 24 carat. Silver, Rupees 76,100. Fuel, I am not telling about it. Adani Group plans to invest US dollar 14 billion. That is 1 lakh, 2 lakh crore, rupees 1.2 lakh crore in 2024-25 financial year through its portfolio of 11 listed companies. In developing the country's infrastructure, the projected capital expenditure is 40% higher than its IT it invested higher than its investment in the current financial year 2023-24. The global toy industry is witnessing a significant shift from China to India attributed to various factors including regulatory requirements, protectionism and strategic business decisions by major players. This shift has resulted in substantial growth in India's toy exports and a decline in imports positioning the country as a net exporter Major brands like Hasbro favor Indian sourcing. Entertainment News Information Broadcasting Minister Shri Anurag Singh Thakur, Chairman of Film and Television Institute of India, Mr. R. Madhavan, Central Board of Film Certification, CBFC, Prasoon Joshi. Article 370 movie at the worldwide box office after 21 days becomes fourth Bollywood film to cross 100 crores in 2024. Yami Gautam and Priyamani's article 370 has turned out to be an impressive success at the worldwide box office. Defense, Supreme Commander of Armed Forces, the President. Mrs. Draupati Marmo, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, Defense Minister of State Ajay Bhatt, Union Home Amit Shah, National Security Advisor Ajit Dobal, Chief of Defense Staff General Anil Chauhan, So these are some of the points. I have given it in the link given to you in newspapers. Please go through that. So I thought some more people will come. Nobody has come today. So I will close this with some more points like Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur, BCCI President Roger Binney, Hockey India President Dilip Tarki, 16th President of Indian Olympic Association, Mrs. P.T. Usha, 
ओडिशा कैपिटल भुवनेश्वर गवर्नर रघुबीर दास रघुबार दास सीएम नवीन पटनायक स्टेट सिंबल बर्ड इज इंडियन रोलर फिश महानदी मार्क्सीर फ्लावर असोका मामल सांबार ट्री सेक्रेड फिग इन भारत देर आर ट्वेंटी एट स्टेट अंड एट यूनियन टेरीटरी number i think somewhere it was given as 143 here it is given differently then these are the names best wishes thank you so much